That's right, guys. Today we are watching the movie Troy and learning how to pick a fight. Welcome to Pick a Fight. My name is Joe. And if you're into channels uh, that help you as a man grow, well, go ahead and subscribe. And we're going to jump into it because every single week we watch movies on Fridays and we learn principles on how we can fight like a man. So let's watch Troy and learn what are we fighting for. Here we go. Ah. Is there no one else? Is there no one else? Okay, so after watching that, something we gotta ask ourselves as men is why am I fighting? See, we see that Achilles was fighting for his glory, right? At the end, the pride that swells up and he says, is there no one else? Is there no one else? You know, like he's, he's putting himself out there. Like I'm the man who wants to try to go at it. But then when we look at the Bible, we see a very similar battle take place, except you have a young shepherd boy taking down a giant. In both instances, we have giants, except in the story of Troy, we have Achilles, who is the greatest warrior. But when we look at the Bible, we have a shepherd boy who comes out with a sling and some stones and nobody else will fight the giant, but he's like, hey, I'll do it. And here's the reason why. Achilles was fighting for himself, for his glory. He wanted it. When you watch the whole movie, he wants to be remembered for eternity, right? But when you look at David, he wanted God to be glorified. He said, who is this enemy that he's going to come and he's going to talk smack about my God? Who's going to shut him up? Nobody's going to shut him up. I'm going to shut him up then. It wasn't about him. It wasn't, he wasn't trying to make a name for himself, but because he was making a name for God, he had a name made for himself because God made him. God is the one who even says that this man right here, David, he's a man after my own heart. And so, men, that's what we have to be. As, as entertaining as Achilles is, we can't have a heart like Achilles. We can't have that pride that swells up. We have to walk in humility like David, who said, listen, I'm actually just a shepherd. I'm here delivering bread, but this dude's uh, talking smack, I'll fight because I will stand up for my God. Proverbs 16, 18 says this, pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before the fall. We have to learn how to walk in humility as men, yet still fight. We have to fight against pride and fight for humility and fight for the right things, the things that bring glory to God. See, there's a warrior in all of us men, but there's two types of warriors. There's the warrior that likes to show and then there's the warrior who likes to serve. What warrior are you? Fight me! You can't fight me! We have a pact. Fight! If he doesn't fight, Troy is doomed. The fight is over. The fight is not over. He's my brother. Yeah. All right, so now we just see Prince Hector and he kills this other king. I can't remember the king's name. But the question we have to ask ourselves after watching this clip is who do you fight for? See, Prince Hector was fighting for his brother. He was saying, listen, even if what I'm about to do is about to cause a war, I will stand up for my brother. I love my brother brother. And I, I get what you're saying. Some of you might be like, I don't even have a brother, but you have a brother in Christ. This is what it says in Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Your brothers in Christ are there for you for a time of adversity. When the enemy is coming against you, they're there to stand with you. You know, we talked about it, uh, that it's like your 2 a.m. dude. That dude who can call you at 2 a.m. and know you're going to pick up and you're going to pray for him. You're going to be there for him. When he's slipping, you're not going to beat him down, but you're going to build him up. That's what we saw here with Hector. Hector knew his his brother was wrong. His brother was stealing this other dude's woman. You know, like he did all the things uh, that would that literally, I mean, that was just horrible. But Hector stood up for his brother and said, he's my brother. Listen, we have to be men that say, hey, this is my brother and I'm gonna be doing battle with him. I got his back. 
You know what it reminds me of? Uh, the movie clip from, um, uh, what's it called? The Town. I'll throw that in here. When they talk about, hey, we got to go mess up some people, but I can't tell you who and you can't ask any questions. Watch this clip. I need your help. I can't tell you what it is. You can never ask me about it later, and we're going to hurt some people. Who's car are we going to take? Honestly, I got a buddy that's just like that. And when we watched that movie, he's like, hey, that's that's you and me. If anything ever goes down, no questions asked. This is how we roll. And that's what we have to have in the body of Christ. Of like, listen, man, I, I messed up again. I slipped up again. I screwed up again. I sinned again. I did whatever it is again. And your buddy can be like, hey, no questions asked. Let's pray. Hey, no questions asked. Let's start taking these steps together to move you, to help you, to be strengthened. Listen, you're my brother and I will fight the enemy with you. So what we just see here is we have to know who we are fighting. Prince Hector thought he was fighting Achilles. We thought it was going to be a, right like the, the battle of the Titans, the two best warriors out there. But Hector actually wasn't fighting Achilles. He was fighting Achilles' cousin. And this is what the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 12. It says, for our struggles are not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of darkness and against the spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. See, sometimes we think we know who we're fighting. We think we're fighting some dudes, our boss, our wife, our, our kids, right? We fight our kids a lot, um, a coach. We think we're fighting, you know, the, the people in front of us, but it's actually a spiritual battle. So many times when there's things that are going in our life, we got to look past the person and look at the spirit that is behind it. Know who we are fighting. Because when we don't know who we're fighting, we end up killing the wrong person, just like Hector did there. Have you ever ruined a relationship because you fought the person and not the spirit? Have you ever ruined a relationship because you were fighting with your fists instead of fighting on your knees? See, that's what we need to do as men. Too many times we're trying to be macho and we want to fight with our fists and we want to show our muscles and we want to, you know, leave a, a, a marks on the other guy, bloody him up, bust up his nose, his face, all the things. But really, we're fighting the wrong enemy. We need to be on our knees and trusting that God is going to fight our battles. But we have to take this to God. We just can't be lazy with it. We got to get on our knees and say, God, I'm handing this to you. God, I feel like there's a spirit here that is just moving in this person. God, my boss is constantly just uh, degrading me and bringing me down and pulling me down. God, I can see that there's an insecurity there, God, and I just ask that you would speak to him, show him it. Whatever it is, if it's with your wife, get on your knees, pray for your wife. Get on your knees, pray for your kids. Get on your knees, pray for your coworker uh, that is mocking you or making fun of you or dissing you or making you feel like garbage, whatever it is, whatever, you know what's going on in your life, I don't. But whatever that is, I can tell you what, you are gonna see more progress when you stop fighting with these and start fighting with your knees because that is where the battles are won. It's a spirit. It's a, it's a fight against spirits, not flesh and blood. All 
right, now we see Hector and Achilles. Finally, the fight we've been waiting for, right? The two baddest of bads. And what happens? The question here, the question here is, who are you willing to die for? Because Jesus tells us we have to pick up our cross and die daily. Listen, I, there's too many of us as men that we want to fight our spouses when really we're supposed to die to ourselves daily and serve our spouses. Are you willing to die for someone else? Hector was willing to die for his brother. And again, this whole thing started because of his brother. But Hector isn't pointing the finger at his brother. Hector says, I'm willing to be the sacrifice. Are you willing to sacrifice everything for that relationship, for your kids, for your spouse, for your, 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 uh, your siblings that you have issues with, for your parents, for your boss, like whatever it is, are you willing to have that sacrifice to say, man, I'm gonna fight for this and I'm willing to die for them. That's a big thing to ask, to say I'm willing to die for them. And something in this uh, this uh, clip that really stood out to me is, is when Achilles says this, he says, I won't let a stone take my glory. And man, as, as we're watching that, what I think of is, holy cow, what Hector did tripping over the stone is what all of us do as we finally come into relationship with Jesus. Because the Bible talks about how Jesus is the cornerstone. And so Hector literally trips over the stone and falls, right? And that's what happens to us. We have to humble ourselves and say, listen, my life isn't about me, it's about the cornerstone. Because when I build my life on the cornerstone, I actually have a life worth living. And it might be a life where I am dying to myself every day, when I'm putting my desires aside, when I'm serving others instead of what I want, whatever it is, but saying, listen, I will, I will give glory to that stone, the cornerstone that is Jesus. So as we're wrapping up, those four questions to ask yourself, why do you fight? Who do you fight for? Who are you fighting? Who will you die for? Those are four questions we need to ask ourselves as we still pick fights and we want to fight for leadership for relationships for spirituality and we want to fight against lust and again if you liked this video go ahead click that subscribe button i do videos like this three times a week where we are going to actually learn how to fight and we're going to be specific and wrap this thing up in 10 minutes or less hey thanks for joining me on pick a fight i'll see you on monday right here <laughs>